Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to be looking at the solutions to the honors magnetism practice problems. Our first problem asks us to find the direction of the current that's traveling through a wire based on the orientation of the magnetic field that is generated by that current moving through the wire. So if we look at the notation, we notice that on the uh, left hand side of the wire we have these X's and that represents the magnetic field moving in the negative Z direction or towards or into the page or into the screen. On the right hand side of the wire we have these dots and these dots represent the magnetic field moving in the positive Z direction or coming out of the screen toward us. So in order for us to be able to find the direction of the current, we have to use the first right-hand rule. Let me just get rid of some of this notation here. We have to use the first right-hand rule, and that tells us if, that we, if we curl our finger around the wire, our thumb will give us the direction of the current. So, and I think I have to stand up for this one. This is gonna be one of those ones where you have to kind of twist your arm around. But if we take our fingers and we curl them around, you notice that that on the um, right hand side of the wire, which is my where my thumb is, the, 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 the wire on the right hand side of it, that my fingers are coming out of the screen toward me. And if I curl around, and this is hard to do, but hopefully you can see that, if I curl around on the left hand side, I am going in the negative Z direction or into the screen, and my thumb is pointing downward. So that means that my direction for the current is going to be in the downward direction. And that is our first right hand rule. Problem number two, we have a proton moving at a speed of 45,000 meters per second horizontally to the right and enters a uniform magnetic field of 0.15 Tesla, which is directed vertically downward. Find the direction and the magnitude of the magnetic force on the proton. So let's take a look at what are given values here. We have to find both the direction of the force and the magnitude of the force. And let's find the magnitude first. So the velocity that we're given is 45,000 meters per second. The magnitude of the magnetic field is 0 0.15 Tesla. I know the charge of my particle is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs because it is a proton. And that is a key word right there. It's a proton, and I know what the charge of a proton is. And we're being asked to find the force. So if we're given the velocity, the magnetic field, and the charge, and I'm being asked to find the force, I'm going to want to use F equals QVB. Plug in my known values and do the calculation. I'm going to end up with a force of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 15th newtons. So that gives me the magnitude of the force. Now let's find the direction. So I am told that the uh, proton is moving, the velocity is going horizontally to the right. So that tells me that the velocity is in the positive x direction. And I know that my uh, magnetic field is directed vertically downward. So that is going to be in the negative y direction. So if I orient my fingers that way, again, using my right hand rule, and remember for all of these, I am using my left hand because the camera acts as a mirror. And I need to show you uh, a, basically a mirror image of what I am doing. But for all of these, you have to use your right hand. They are the right hand rules after all. So if I want to orient my palm going downward, because remember my palm is the magnetic field, my fingers are the velocity, and my thumb is going to be the force. So my palm is pointing downward. My fingers are going in the wrong direction. So let me just kind of stand up here and try and do this. My palm is oriented downward, so that's the magnetic field. My fingers here are going to the right, and my thumb is going in the um, negative Z direction or going into the screen. So my force is going to be 
in the negative z direction. Problem three. An alpha particle with a charge of 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs and a mass of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms travels at a speed of 8.0 times 10 to the 6 meters per second in the positive x direction. A uniform magnetic field with a magnitude of 1.2 tesla is pointed in the positive y direction. Find the direction of the force and the magnitude of the acceleration of the alpha particle at the moment when it is injected into the field. So we want to find the direction of the force and the acceleration of the alpha particle. And before we say, oh, MG, how we find acceleration in these problems, we haven't done that before. Let's first take a look and see what we're given in the problem. We are given the velocity of the alpha particle at 8.0 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. We are given the magnitude of the magnetic field at 1.2 tesla. We are given the charge of the alpha particle, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs, and the mass of the alpha particle at 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. We're looking for acceleration. Now, with those uh, given, uh, uh, given variables, I can't find acceleration directly, but I know with the velocity, the magnetic field, and the charge, I can find the force. And if I can find the force, given the mass, I can also find the acceleration using Newton's second law. So let's take a look at that. To find the force, I'm going to use F equals QVB. Don't need to do any rearranging because I'm already solved for force. Plug in my known values and I am going to get a force of 3.07 times 10 to the minus 12th Newtons. Now I can use Newton's second law, F equals MA, to find my acceleration. The acceleration is going to equal the force divided by the mass. So the force of 3.07 times 10 to the minus 12th Newtons divided by the mass of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms is going to give me an acceleration of 4.7 times 10 to the 14th meters per second squared. To find the direction of the force, we're going to need to use our right-hand rule. So first thing we are given is the direction of the velocity, and I know that that is in the positive x direction. And I know that the direction of the magnetic field is in the positive y direction. So to use my right hand rule, my palm needs to be pointed upward, so, and my fingers need to be pointed to the right. So I need to take my palm, point it upwards, and my fingers, they don't want to quite get to the right. It, ow! It's like, ow! Ooh, it's like bad yoga for my extremities. I don't like this very much at all. All right, so if I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to do it for very long, my thumb is going to give me the direction of the force, and my thumb here is going to be in the positive Z direction or coming out of the screen. So my force is going to be, here we go. Oops, let's see if we can make that happen again. There we go, in the positive Z direction. Okay, so I mentioned yoga in that last problem, and that reminded me of a story. So I thought this would be a good time for story time with Mr. Tiesler. So I could probably use a little bit of yoga in my life. Lord knows I need to find ways to relax. But I thought I'd tell you the story of the one time in my life that I've tried yoga. Way back when I used to teach senior projects to my students at my old school, I had a kid who was doing like um, uh, like healthy things for their senior project and they were doing a certain diet and they were doing different types of exercises and one of the things that they did for their project was they organized a yoga class and she had a, a yoga instructor come into the school and she had kids sign up for it and they uh, held a yoga class and because I was her senior project teacher I had to kind of supervise the class and I'm wearing of course my teacher outfit which is you know, you, the usual, it's a pair of chinos or khakis and a dress shirt. 
So everybody's doing these yoga poses and I'm trying to participate and do the yoga as well. And it's not working out very well. And we're trying to do this one particular pose. I don't know. It was called like the violent strawberry or the really angry pretzel or I don't know what they were calling this pose, but I wasn't even close to getting this pose down. And the teacher or the instructor was trying to help me out. She was being very, very nice and, and very, very gracious with me. And she's trying to say, oh, well, it's hard to get into these poses sometimes. And she's trying to, you know, move my leg one way and twist me around in ways that I just didn't want to be twisted. And she's like, sometimes when you're wearing, you know, dress pants like this, they can get a little bit tight and it'd be hard to make these, you get into these positions. And I just looked at her and I said, it ain't the pants that are tight, lady. It ain't the pants. And all the kids had a very, very good laugh at that. So that was the first and only time I've ever tried yoga. Problem four. A wire carries 49 amps of current in the positive X direction and is located in a 0.85 Tesla magnetic field. If the wire experiences a magnetic force of 0.22 newtons and is oriented in the negative Y direction, what is the length of the wire and the direction of the magnetic field? So the first thing we'll do is we'll find the length of the wire. We are given the current at 49 amps. We are given the magnetic field at 0.85 Tesla. We are given the force of 0.22 Newtons. And again, we are looking for the length of the wire. So with the current, the magnetic field and the force looking for the length, I'm going to use F equals ILB. I want to solve that for the length. So I'm going to have the length is equal to the force divided by the current times the magnetic field. Plug in my known values. And once I do that, I'm going to get 5.3 times 10 to the minus third meters, or that would also equal 5.3 millimeters. To find the direction of the magnetic field, I know first that my force is in the positive, or my, I'm sorry, my current is in the positive x direction, and I know that the force is in the negative y direction. So to find the direction of the magnetic field, I'm going to use my right hand rule. I know that my force is going to go down, so my thumb needs to be oriented downward. My fingers need to be oriented to the right, so I need to turn my hand around, something like this. So now my thumb is pointed downward. My fingers, which, is, which are the current, are pointed towards the right, and my palm is going to be the magnetic field, and the magnetic field is going to be coming toward me or out of the screen so the magnetic field is going to be in the positive z direction so again we represent that with a little dot and that is going to be my magnetic field problem five we have a 0.38 Tesla magnetic field moving in the negative X direction, exerting a 1.4 Newton force in the positive Z direction on a 30 centimeter long wire. What is the magnitude and direction of the electric current flowing through the wire? So I know that the magnitude of my magnetic field is 0.38 Tesla. The force is 1.4 newtons and the length of the wire is 30 centimeters which i need to convert to meters and i am looking for the current so i'm going to use f equals ilb solving that for i is going to be i equals f over lb plug in my known values and that is going to give me a current of 12 amps to find the um, uh, the direction of the current, I know that my magnetic field is moving in the um, negative x direction and my force is going in the positive z direction. So if I'm going to use my right hand rule, I know that my force is going to be uh, want to come out of the screen towards me. So my thumb needs to be pointed toward me. I know that my my palm, which is the magnetic field, wants to be oriented to the left or the negative x direction. So my palm is facing to the left and my fingers represent the current and my fingers are pointing straight up. So that means that 
I know that my current is going to be in the positive y direction. Problem six. A uniform magnetic field moving in the negative z direction exerts a maximum force of 50 millinewtons in the positive y direction on a 50 centimeter long wire, carrying a current of 45 amps. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field and the direction of the current? So I am given the force of 50 millinewtons, which I have to convert to newtons. So that's going to be 50.0 times 10 to the minus third newtons. I am given the length of the wire, which is 50 centimeters, which I do have to convert to meters. So that is going to be 50 times 10 to the minus second meters. I have the current of 45 amps, and I'm being asked to find the magnetic field. So to find the magnetic field, I have to use F equals ILB. I want to solve it for B, the magnetic field. So B is going to equal F divided by I times L. 50 times 10 to the minus third newtons divided by 45 amps times 50 times 10 to the minus second meters is going to give me a magnetic field of 2.2 times 10 to the minus third Tesla. To find the direction of the current using my right hand rule, I know that my force is in the positive y direction and I know that my magnetic field is in the negative z direction. So to orient my hand the correct way, my thumb is representing the force, so my thumb needs to be pointing upward. My palm is a magnetic field and that means to be in the negative z direction which means it needs to be pointed toward the screen so i'm going to point my palm toward the screen and my fingers represent the current so my fingers are moving in the positive x direction so this is going to be my current in the positive x direction